Greetings, good life. I'm going to continue reading my Benevolent Magic blog for you now. This was originally published on Wednesday, February 8th of 2006, and it's called Listening as a Foundation. There is a time now when you will find that your capacities to experience things that are other than of your own world have increased. I have been speaking of these matters for some time in this blog, and I feel that I'm going to enter into a greater amount of sharing and teaching for you, because this time for you and times to come will find you all with these capacities. One of the things that I would recommend for you now is to listen. That sounds a bit strange, does it not? But there are sounds you can hear now when it is quiet. So for those of you who have quiet available to you, and I do not mean quiet in your home with noise all abounding all around outside, but actual quiet to the best of your ability to produce it, is something I'd like you to practice. If you can use earplugs, that would be good. If you have to use your fingers to plug your ears, then, well, it may or may not work, but you can try it. There's a reason, and that is to sharpen your senses to notice. There will be times when you may hear sounds that are distressing, people getting upset, or it may even be a very small sound but there will be a feeling inside of you that is upset. These would be times to say the basic living prayer, of which I have mentioned before. I am asking that all those beings who need help receive all the help they need benevolently from all those beings who can help them. Now the advantage of that living prayer is that it not only serves to bring help or to give permission for help spiritually and physically to those people, but it also will tend to calm your own concerns if the noises are far away. Needless to say, if the noises are nearby or in your own home, then you have to investigate. Nevertheless, I bring this to your attention because the opportunity to use your senses in ways that have not been readily available to you, that will serve you and possibly others, and that will allow you to feel more empowered and to feel a greater sense of your own wisdom and capacity, is here right now. So try the hearing. It is not necessarily something that you will hear things, but just try it. You might notice that your thoughts will get to be more, how can we say, insistent. The purpose of this homework is to encourage you when your thoughts are present, even if you have to plug your ears, you know, to make quiet. When your thoughts are present, just stop thinking. I know it's not easy because it might happen again. Don't get mad at yourself. Just stop thinking every time you begin to think. Some of this will be easier, you see, to stop thinking because you are trying to listen, and listening and thinking don't always go well together. Sometimes they do, but not always. So, it's a good way to sharpen your awareness, but it's also a good way to allow yourself to be without thought. All right, that's a beginning. It's a foundation. I will focus on other senses at other times. If you hear something, a sound, all right, then take note of it after you stop doing this. Don't do this thing of listening for more than five minutes, all right? That's good enough for now. I'm not going to suggest that you're going to hear something spiritual, but you might. Pay special attention to that which you hear, and I'm not saying just thought, all right? But that which you hear that comes in the general direction of your left ear, all right? It's not always the case that that's clearer for most people, but it is generally the case. It is not always going to be 100% clear, 
though, but it will be clearer about things that would cause you to think and things that may be inspiring. So to reiterate and sum up, the idea is to have as much quiet and true silence as possible, and then, within that quiet, listen as much as you can concentrate on listening. Now remember, if you hear something, don't push it away. Don't assume that you're supposed to hear only quiet. If you hear something, take no note of it. Keep it in mind, if you can, and focus again on listening. This is an exercise, as I said, to sharpen your point of concentration and your ability to be aware. It is a foundation, yes, but it's also a preparation to that which will come later on in this blog in order to guide and instruct you to improve the quality of your life, yes, but also to add to you abilities and capabilities which are prepared to flower in ways that even you have not imagined. And I know many of you are very capable with your imagining and imaging. Remember, listen. And if you feel after trying this once or twice that you may not remember and still be able to listen to what you heard, you can keep a little recorder handy if you have one. And say on the recorder after you hear something, I just heard, yes, I just heard, and then you fill in the blanks. And if you need to stop and make a note because you feel it's important what you heard, you can do that. I'm not trying to teach you how to channel. I am attempting to expose you to the beginnings and the foundations of a form of inspiration that will result in your capacity to actually make contact with a version of soul and spirit of benevolence that is available to you, whether you choose to call it angels, creators, or guides, or whether you just embrace it as simple inspiration. I know many of you have desired such a thing, and it is my intent to expose you to this foundational element. Good life to you all, and good night.